Right, we're on to the next part now. Uh, the secondary has been fitted back in. Um, it's just like loosely fitted in because we've got all the adjustments to make yet. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but um, if I just shine a torch there, you can see the, the secondary is just there. Uh, what you might also notice if you look at the primary, you can see my center spot isn't a center spot as such. It's uh, what they call a hot spot. It looks like a little radiation symbol. Um, and that's made by um, the cat's eye people, cat's eye collimation.com. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about that maybe later and, and why it is that I've used one of those instead of a donut on my primary. Uh, now we're going to cover something uh, to do with lasers. If you buy a laser collimator, uh, the instructions always say to you uh, turn your laser on and adjust your secondary until the red spot is centered on your primary in the center spot uh, but <laughs> firstly the laser isn't going to tell you whether it, when it's on your center spot isn't going to tell you how far up and down the tube your actual mirror is uh, because as we explained before the central screw on your secondary moves your mirror actually up and down your tube that little bit so it's not going to tell you that um, now next, as you can possibly see there, rotating the mirror, the secondary mirror, actually moves the laser point almost in a straight line across your primary. Now the thing is that if you, if you do that and you get that laser point onto your primary uh, by making your various adjustments, it doesn't mean that you're exactly in. And the reason being that I could rotate my, my mirror a little bit, moving it away from that, that dot, and then I can correct it using my three adjustment screws. So that in effect, I've twisted the mirror, but I've tilted the view that still makes the laser point at the center on the primary, but it isn't technically correct because now my secondary is out. It doesn't work. Lasers lie. With regards to centering and secondary mirrors, they lie. And it, it's just not a really good way of doing it. Um, in fact, a, a point laser uh, such as this isn't particularly good for doing, for doing a, a primary mirror either. But I'll show you something else uh, a little bit later on. Probably the best primary collimating method ever. Uh, that's coming up. So like I said, lasers lie because it can't tell you what position your secondary mirror is in. It could be rotated a little bit and then tipped a little bit to correct, which means that it's, it's not in. Um, so what you do need instead is a side tube, which a lot of people just use a, uh, a film canister, uh, like this, with a, with a, a one mil or a two mil hole drilled into, into the middle. And you put that into your focuser and look down it uh, and we're going to cover that part uh, very shortly. Uh, just give me a couple of minutes and I'm going to attach the camera to, to the telescope. 